I was inside the studio today that where uh, John Tory has an afternoon drive at CFRB and George Smith will walk in as his invited guest and you could touch, touch, or cut the tension with a knife. George says, I guess we're going to see a whole lot more of each other. Let's roll some of that videotape that we shot just moments ago as they came in. Uh, you can see that John Tory is going to give uh, George Smith a t-shirt uh, from the John Tory show as he kind of jokes around. Why don't you why don't you wear that on the campaign trail? But there, there was a lot of tension between the two as he sat down. George just walked out a moment ago, asked him the same question, uh, if there was a deal or not, and uh, he sort of shouted something back that I couldn't understand and kept on walking. So uh, we'll see in the days to come. We're playing live. I'm Austin Delaney. Let's talk about, one, energy, as, as, as the man in charge of energy there. There's been a lot of allegations about uh, notions of courting a, an overseas company to get involved in wind energy that might have been inappropriate. Are these, there have been Excuse questions me. I, I, I've heard no such allegations of, uh, of seeking uh, an investment from uh, a company to invest $7 billion in the province of Ontario and uh, to employ about 16,000 additional people. So. Well, there, I, 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 can, I mean, I can I can read some articles here. Uh, here's one. Uh, it may be that some cabinet colleagues, in addition to feeling uh, shafted about the e-health business, quote, have grown alarmed at what problems might arise from Smitherman's assiduous wooing of the South Korean Samsung Group as an energy investor in Toronto. Now, Smitherman had a reputation here of being the attack dog, the premier's personal enforcer, is number two. Smitherman quit early to a escape any fallout from the e-health spending scandal. People leave when the going gets tough. They don't like to be around pressure, and if they have options, they try to go for them. That's what George Smitherman has done. Now, Smitherman says he'll stay on as MPP until March of next year. This will enable him to keep his riding office, continue to draw his MPP salary, but perhaps most importantly, continue to get access to his constituency and Liberal Party database. That will no doubt help his mayoral bid for the next election, and that takes place November 2010. Richard Maddox, City News.